This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Here are nine stories that we're following this morning. We'll, we'll start with the concept of UPS dropped 7% on, on slowing business, uh, slowing profits. Second, fewer workers are quitting their jobs as confidence in moving jobs slows. Even though there's lots of open jobs out there, hear more and more stories about people having a hard time finding that next job. Third, Great article in the Wall Street Journal about how Ukraine plowing through must missiles and having a hard time getting replacement missiles. Uh, I, by chance, had a chance to visit with Nebraska Senator yesterday, Deborah Fisher, in person and talked about this very real problem of the West slowing down in its missile development, which if there's actually a scattering of wars throughout the world, it seems like there will be. This is a problem. Fourth. The real estate crisis comes to America's premier office tower, a story about one of the best towers in America having leasing problems, bringing back leasing rates, and so forth. And that's a real challenge as interest costs continue to grow and leasing rates go down, vacancy rates go up. Fifth, global deal activity looks to rebound some this year. That's the Wall Street Journal. We've also had topics on the Becker Private Equity Podcast from Amber Walsh of McGuire Woods, as well as Rick Kessin, Matt Wolf, RSM, on exactly this topic, sort of reading the tea leaves, some slow growth in M&A activity, but still nowhere near what it was like in 21 and 22. Six, Toyota Motor Corp hits record sales in 2023 worldwide, almost 11 million vehicles sold, amazing. Seventh, a few quick stats and market notes. Oil has rebounded to 77 bucks a barrel, always challenging. Second, Bitcoin has rebounded to 43,500. Third, Lucid Motors jumped 27% yesterday and is up a bit this year, today, but still way down year to date. Tesla jumped 4.5% or so yesterday and is up a little bit today, a little bit less than that yesterday. I, I should question that. Fifth, the one year Treasury sticks to 4.8%. Good news for savers. Sixth, the 10 year Treasury is right about 4.1%. Uh, and, and seventh, futures in the market slightly down today. Uh, a story found today, five recent books we, we have thoughts on that we read. Blood and Oil about the Saudi Arabia and Mohammed bin Salman, Salman uh, by Bradley Hope and Justin Sheck. Fascinating. And also discusses how Saudi Arabia is sort of the bulwark against Iran. So we better not hate Saudi Arabia too much. Um, second, All Takes is a Goal by John Acuff. John is just awesome to listen to. Third, Our Gal by Ellie Conway. Good, but very hard for me to get through. Fourth, Amazon Unbound by Brad Stone. What a pleasure to read Brad Stone and his discussion of Jeff Bezos, the Washington Post, the murder of Washington Journalist Post and Saudi dissident Jashogi, uh, and the, the ties to the blood and oil MBS. Fascinating, you know, the Saudi murder of a Saudi dissident journalist. And finally, another novel, Wolf Trap by Connor Sullivan, and a pleasure to read that. Um, the 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 Ninth story we're following today is just, or, or the note I would say, fascinating story on the growth of psychedelics and investments coming with that, and then sort of a PS, just brilliant yesterday to visit with Mark Harrison and Moonjal Shah, uh, two great and fascinating leaders, both backed in part by General Catalyst, fascinating, fascinating people, Dr. Mark Harrison and Dr. Moonjal Shah. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and, and Business Podcast. We'll have a separate podcast for Becker's Healthcare, and also a separate one on digging deeper into certain issues, the difference between men and women. And we'll see if, uh, you know, how you feel about that broad stereotyping. Hopefully we don't offend anybody. Thank you very, very much for listening.